Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Aquarius. And this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I will be using my Guardian Angel Messages Tarot deck. To clarify, I'll be using my Angel Wisdoms Tarot. And we're going to see what message or messages we have for you, Aquarius. To everyone stopping by, darlings, I welcome you with open arms and an open heart. Please know I deliver these messages to you from my heart to your heart always. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. To all my newcomers and for those of, who, those of you who do not know, my name is Michelle. And we're going to see what messages we have for you. So let's see Aquarius. So Aquarius, this is for you. We have the release card. It seems like maybe there was some kind of ending in the past. Remember, endings always make room for new beginnings. It might have been an ending where a marriage was concerned. Or whatever that ending was, maybe it taught you a lot of, maybe you gained a lot of knowledge from it. You got the hermit. Maybe you're alone right now, or maybe you've gone within and doing some soul searching. You have the eight fire. Things coming towards you really fast. We have the Ten of Fire. This is about like load, like burden. What's going on? We got the Ten of Fire. You're overworked. You're, there's some kind of imbalance. You got the Five of Earth here, which is about the mindset of lack. Aquarius, what's going on with you? You got the Two of Earth. Now, it could be that you got a lot of things on your plate and it's feeling, making you feel a little off balance. That's the two of earth. It should be balanced. Or maybe you have a lot of things you're juggling. You know, you're managing a lot of things at one time. You have the eight of water. You think you're thinking about walking away or moving on from a situation. And you have the emperor. That could be maybe walking towards your stability. Um, that could be an Aries energy. It's a very stable energy. So let's see the release card. So on top of the release card, we have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Three of Wands, and we have the Six of Cups. Maybe you want it to end something. Whatever it was, you needed to plan carefully before you made that decision. Once you made that decision, you got the uh, we got the Knight of Pentacles, we got the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is you made him, you started making plans for the long term. This is something from the past you wanted to end. We got the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Three of Wands, and we have the Six of Cups, and then you have the Wise Counselor. And I said maybe it had to do with a marriage, or maybe you gained a lot of knowledge from the situation. Whatever it is, you got the High Priestess, you have the Six of Pentacles, and you have the Five of Pentacles. The High Priestess is about you using your intuition. Hold on. Come on, little one. Come on. Go. You want to go outside? Come on, little one. I really hope you didn't keep that. Okay. This is Tico. He's a senior. So we're going to have him here while I do this. He's a little deer hit chihuahua. He's an old man. Oh, tico, tico, tico. Let me get my dress. Let's put this around you so you don't feel like 
you're gonna fall off. Give him a little security. All right, so here we go. And <laughs> I hope I don't stand up. <laughs> so we got the wise counselor on top. The wise counselor, you got the high priestess. All right, Tico, just lay down. You can lay down there. Okay, good boy. We got this. Oh gosh, we got the six of pentacles, and we have the five of cups. So whatever it was that happened here, that ended, that you gained knowledge from, you needed to find the answers. You need to use your intuition. You need to follow your heart. You need to follow what you wanted to do. We have the Six of Pentacles, which is about balance. The good you do comes back to you. But because of this decision or the decision that you needed to make, you felt a little upside down emotionally. But this is past. This is like hurt from the past past. Something that you wanted to let go of. This is an old hurt. And you only, well, not too long ago, maybe decided to let go of it. There was an ending here that brought in a new beginning. We have the hermit. That's you being alone, but maybe no more. I'm not sure. Only you can tell me. We have the dreamer. The dreamer is about a new beginning. You need to trust yourself. We have the release card. Trust yourself where this ending is concerned and this new beginning is, is starting, okay? Because you got the empress right after. And the empress is about abundance. So you have the dreamer, you have the release card, and you have the empress. The abundance card. And then you have the eight of fire. On top of the eight of fire, which is something coming in very fast. We have the seven of cups. We have the queen of cups and we have the wise counselor. You getting married again? It's coming fast. You got some choices. Not just one choice. I don't know, maybe there was something, a split, a divorce or something in the past here. But there's something, see, something is coming towards you. Might be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. It's going to give you some choices, but don't go over analyzing things, okay? It might be bringing in something good for you. We got the Wise Counselor. We got the Seven of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups. And we have the Wise Counselor. Then we have the Ten of Fire. Ten of fire is about feeling heavy, a lot of a lot of things going on. There's an imbalance. There's a lot of stress, maybe because of the situation. Conflict. We have the ten of. We have the five of swords. We have the emperor above the ten of fire, and the eight of swords. There's some conflict here in a situation you got yourself tied up in. Now, this could be a, a fire energy here. Maybe it's something from the past. We have the emperor, which is about stability. But there's a lot of conflict. Maybe there's a situation that happened that got you tied up. And it's making you not feel stable right now. Maybe it's stressing you out. We have the Five of Swords, we have the Emperor, and we have the Eight of Swords. Then we have the Five of Earth. The Five of Earth is about the mindset of lack. It's temporary, doesn't last long. You got the Justice card on top of the Five of Earth. If you set out with integrity, if your position is one of integrity, you will always win. You have the awakening card. There's a temporary pause. I don't know if it's something legal or maybe there are things. This is temporary. All right. Maybe there's just a temporary pause. Maybe you will find your balance again soon. We got the justice card. We have the awakening card, which is about delays, pauses, but not for long. And then we got the four of pentacles and the four of pentacles is about managing your resources wisely. Or it could be extremes in how you give or receive money, time, or emotions. So, you have the justice card, which to me is balance, but there is a little pause there. Something is, something is delaying it, and it's the five of pentacles. Something about the way you're thinking about the situation. Maybe you need to release it. 
And you got the two of earth. Sorry, baby. On top of the two of earth, you have the three of pentacles. You have the page of pentacles and the nine of swords. What's going on with y'all, Aquarius? What's going on here? The two of earth should be about balance. Or it could be feeling off balance. We have the three of pentacles. Things work being worked for. <laughs> Things are expanding for you. Things are expanding. There is an opportunity for you that's going to bring some excitement and enthusiasm. You're going to receive news of an, of an opportunity, but it might also give you some anxiety. Maybe you won't be able to believe it. That, oh my goodness, I got it. I finally did. I got it. What? Yes, you can receive anything you desire. You have the three of pentacles. You have the page of wands. And you have the nine of swords. Now, the nine of swords here. Don't stay too long there, all right? That's like anxiety and worry and just a lot of things going on. But it's negative. It's like self-fulfilling prophecy. You're expecting the worst to happen. And when you do that, the worst will happen. We make it happen here. We think all these horrible, terrible things. I am guilty of that myself. I am guilty of that. But we need to change those things because we don't want to manifest the negative things. We want beautiful things to happen. Okay? So we're going to open up our heart. You know what I mean? Now we're going to be able to see that we can achieve anything we desire. Anything is possible. So, Aquarius, you got the eight of water here. Thinking about walking away, maybe walking away from the anxiety and the worry. Or there is something that's heavy. There's something heavy here. Something heavy and not healthy. And communication. You're going to hear something. This thing is going to make you feel heavy. Maybe that's why you're feeling anxious. Something is not healthy here. We have the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is... The heaviness, the burden, um, being overworked. You have it up here as well. Feeling things are not balanced, you know. And then there it could be because of some communication that came in that was pretty harsh and straightforward. Maybe it had something to do with some documents that you were signing. Maybe the justice card had something to do with legal. And maybe there was, maybe there's a couple little things going on here. Financial issues as well as love issues here. But there is something that is over excessive in your environment that is not healthy for you. Maybe it's the lack of communication, straightforward communication. But there's something feeling very heavy in you. The Ten of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Ego card, which is the equivalent to the Devil. Then you have the Emperor. And on top of the Emperor, we have the Magician. We have the Four of Wands, and we have the Ten of Cups. Man, Aries. Aquarius, not Aries, Aquarius. Um, I said Aries because I was looking at the emperor. Aquarius. You're magical. It's your time. It's your time to shine. You hear? You're going to have joy and content and success in your environment. You want to have that happy family that you so desire. You got the magician, baby. Babies. You have all the resources you need within you to accomplish anything you set out to do. You have the magician, the four of wands, and the ten of cups. No matter all this confusion and this up and down and this whatever unhealthy here, you're going to overcome it all. Now, I don't know if that's an Aries. I don't know if that's an Aries. 
or if that's just you finding stability because you got this is stable energy so but through everything you do overcome you overcome things i love you guys you take care of yourselves and I will chat with you soon. And thank you for your patience. I truly am grateful. Chat with you soon.